Today we're installing a universal horn kit. Included with this kit is the wiring harness, mounting tabs, a horn button plate, the horn button, and the horn itself. To do this, we're going to use a half inch socket, a number two Phillips tip, and a 5 8 drill bit. Now let's get started. First thing you want to do is engage the parking brake and switch the key to the off position. You'll notice here that we have the cart lifted up and the tire off, that's for video purposes only. We're going to install this on a club car precedent today, but with any cart, you'll notice a flat panel right here to the left of the accelerator. Find a good location that's free of obstacles on the back side and use a 5 inch drill bit to drill through the flat panel for our horn button. Be sure to wear safety glasses. Now we're going to attach the two small ring terminals from our harness to the Phillips head screws located on the back side of the horn button. It does not matter which wire goes to which Phillips head screw. Next, we're going to take the two female spade connectors and attach them to the back side of the horn on the male spade connectors. Again, it does not matter which color goes to which spade. Now we're going to attach our horn to the cart. We're going to use a self-tapping screw and attach it to the plate here. Depending on the cart you have, you may be able to back off a bolt and nut and attach the horn and replace it. But in this case, we're going to use a self-tapping screw. Now we're going to attach our horn button to the cart. You want to unscrew the nut and then feed it through. Now you're going to take the horn plate and put it over first, then the brass nut, finally the horn cap. Now that our harness is attached, we're going to feed it under the cart and into the battery compartment. Now we're going to pull the harness up through the battery compartment. We're also going to switch the cart into tow, make sure all of the slack is out of the harness. Then we're going to attach the black to a negative on our battery and the white to a positive. If you have a 12 volt battery, this isn't a problem. If you have two 8 volts, it will still be fine. You just make sure you go from one negative to the next positive. You may need a multimeter to check and make sure you have 16 volts. Now we're going to secure the wires in the battery compartment and under the cart. This way nothing's hanging down and doesn't get caught on debris. And now you're finished installing your universal horn kit.